<laughs> Damn, things are getting interesting in Spain. This is going on in Sevilla. By the way, before we go on, remember that if you want to get prepared, if you want to learn more about survival and preparedness, surviving the economic collapse, and for this sort of stuff, it's three survival skills. There's chapters here dedicated to the use of these tools for self-defense, home defense, offensive driving, how to move around, how to not make... Well, one of the mistakes that we'll actually see here in a second. But well, let's start watching the video, just a few seconds. We tried to... Mira, mira, mira. Mira, mira, mira. Mira, mira, mira. Eso no es normal ya, ¿eh? Eso ya son AK-47. Quítate, quítate. Y yo, eso son AK-47. That's not normal, he said. Mira, Guillo. Lo pego la pistola. Ay, qué miedo. Callarse. So, yeah, uh, it's not normal, he says. That's AK-47. He's probably right. It's most likely going to be AK-47, given that these are obviously uh, weapons that are 90% sure brought illegally, right, into the country. Um, and, I mean, yes, yes, of course. People are surprised by this. How? How could you probably... If you have thousands of people illegally crossing the borders... What the hell is it that you think they bring? They probably bring drugs, guns, all sorts of things that they can sell, make a bit more money, and start their new life in, right? A few more bucks. Uh, how could you possibly control? Why are you bothering law-abiding citizens with what they can legally uh, own or not when you don't care about the guy crossing the border with a backpack full of AKs? And tracer ammo, apparently, is probably what you see here. When you see these, <laughs> that is Tracer. That's most likely, yes, from AK-47. Uh, you have, of course, Tracer rounds. You have incendiary rounds. You have uh, AP armor piercing. I think I saw some image there from uh, 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 Black Tips. That's armor piercing, usually the case, as far as I know. Uh, but I don't know if it was stock or something they actually recovered. In any case, this is definitely Tracer ammo. When is it that you use this? Well, you don't use this at typically in AK-47s, even though they probably have the ammunition, it's most likely intended to be used in belt-fed automatics. That's how you aim with those things, giving that it's a, it's a big, it's a giant-ass gun that you go like, and every five rounds or so, you have one tracer, and you see, boom, boom, and you kind of aim with the thing, right, with the with the light. Um, there are, I, I've read somewhere online of having the last rounds being tracers, in case you, oh, I'm running out of ammunition. No, you don't, don't do that. I think it's kind of fucked up. The bad thing about Tracer is that it just shows where you're at, right? You see that round that goes, damn, that's where the guy is. That is a lot more dangerous than, oh, reloading. When you realize that, you go, you just do a check. Oh, yes, these days you have magazines that have even little windows on the side. So don't be a broke-ass <laughs> prepper and have uh, things uh, accordingly. Have enough ammunition, reload when you need so. Have a, um, a decent amount of uh, ammo and hand. And this is the kind of thing that gangs do. They, yeah, I'm going to shoot them with my AK with tracer ammunition. Shooting through the sky so as they see how powerful we are as a gang. It is concerning because this is usually not what you see in Spain. It just shows, it's a sign of the times in which we're living, which is super uh, concerning. This is Spanish ghetto in Sevilla. And it is, I mean, it's really not the case that you have uh, no-go areas, but there's obviously gangs operating in these in these in, in these buildings, and they're fighting one another over control. And it's the kind of thing that was up until not that long ago, it was completely unheard of. I mean, every once in a while you do know, and I, I know some guys, uh, and, and they share some of this stuff in terms of. Um, what happens and people would not believe no matter where you are no matter where you are people usually don't know the kind of shit that cops deal with on daily basis all over the world this is in some parts of the world this is just every giving night in Sevilla no this is something extremely uh, unusual and well that's why it's on the news that's why everyone is freaking out about the 
3,000 houses uh, neighborhood in Sevilla having weapons of war being used now. <laughs> and this is the kind of thing that I mean when, guys, if you want to be prepared, I strongly yet again recommend getting this book of mine, Street Survival Skills, because you will probably not make the stupid shit you see that guy doing right there, which is keeping his head out there to be blown off his damn shoulders. That is not what you're supposed to do. Uh, you, <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to keep your head out of there, right? So it's uh, chapters dedicated on how to use firearms correctly. That, that is something you definitely want to avoid doing. Don't leave your head just there hanging. And yeah, in, t in terms of dynamic training, shooting, moving, and all of that stuff, one of the chapters here is shooting from cover, right? I was actually, where the hell is that thing? So in terms of, of shooting from cover or shooting on the move as well, shooting from cover means you do this. It's <laughs> this that you do. It's just your eye should be all that they see. You don't need to bring all of your damn body out of the cover. Just a little bit and you go back into cover and if you're gonna do that again don't do it on the same place that's the kind of thing that gets your head blown up so you you do the the, the pukaboo thing right on one side and then if you're gonna do it again go on the other side of the building right move along to the other side and poke on the other side your head around and if you're gonna be doing it in the same place go to the floor the ground literally and you do this if someone is aiming for the same spot in which they saw you, then they will have to readjust. And that second may be the difference between getting shot in the fucking head or not. So little things that these are not inventions of mine. These are things that I've learned in training, in classes in different countries where they teach these things. And usually people that know what they're doing will teach the same things. So that's why it's important to know them. It's nothing too complex. But it's little things like this that saved your life when someone is fucking shooting at everyone with AK-47s and they have tracer rounds because oh, I'm such a badass. They have tracer rounds in there. That's crazy. Anyway, guys, take care. See you next time.